and welcome to lesson 99 on adding and subtracting um, decimal numbers. So I left the first page of the note sheet at school, so you're just going to have to complete the problems on that first page on your own at the end, and I'll do all the problems with you on the second page. But first, I think this is kind of what was written on the first page, let's talk about the steps. The first step is you've got to pin a decimal to the back of a whole number. So if I had an eight here, this is really, there's a decimal after the eight. You could write 8.0 if you wanted to. There are sometimes extra zeros before and after um, whole numbers that you don't need. Any of these number zeros after a decimal can be taken away or can be added if we need them there. And if there's zeros, before an eight or before a whole number, those can be taken off when you're simplifying as well. So our first step is to pin this decimal here. Our second step is to line up all the decimals and then we'll, we'll add in zeros if we need to on the end to give them the same amount of decimal places. Then we'll add or subtract and then at the end we're gonna simplify our answer. All right, so let's see how this works out. Here we've got 24.6 minus 8. So do you remember what I said? Where will the decimal go in this number 8? Uh, right there. My second step is to write these numbers vertically and to line up the decimals, which means the 8 is going to go here so that way the decimals are in line. Now I'm going to add a zero there so the same amount of decimal places are being used in both numbers. And now we'll subtract 6 minus 0, 4 minus 8, I'm going to borrow, 14 minus 8 is 6, 1 minus 0 is 1. So our final answer is 16.6 or 16 and 6 tenths. All right, let's try D. Okay, in this case, I don't have to pin any decimals because they both already have one. So I'm just gonna write 5.57 minus 2.1. I'll add in a zero there. Five minus zero, seven minus one is six. 5 minus 2 is 3. So I get 3 and 65 hundredths. Now, one of the examples on your page, I remember, was adding three numbers. So let me really quick just take a piece of paper and show you. Let's say I was adding 3.61 plus 7 plus 2.5. Okay, if I was adding these three numbers, I am going to pin my decimal after the seven, and then I'm gonna line up them up all the decimals, 3.61, 7.00, and 2.5. Add a zero there, just to give them all the same amount of place values. And then for this ones we're adding, so in this column, I've got one, six plus five is 11, seven plus three is 10, 11, 12, 13. Bring down my decimal, and so my answer would be 13.11. So on your problems, if there's three, you're going to line up all three numbers by their decimal place, and you'll add in these zeros to give them all the same amount of, of decimal places. Or place values. Alright, which digit in 4.65 is in the same place as the 2 in 12? Well, the best way to figure this out is to do exactly what I just did, which is to pin a decimal at the end of the whole number and then line them up. So here I've got 4.65 and then I've got 12. So which digit in this is in the same place as the two? 
the four. All right, and F. Compare 13.7 and 13.08. So I'm gonna do the same thing. When we're comparing decimal numbers, we write them vertically. And we line up the decimal places, which then reminds us to add a zero. And now we're gonna compare just the decimal number. So in this one, I have a 70. And in this one, I have just eight. So which one is bigger? Right, the 13.7. So we show that with the open facing with the open part facing that. And that is this whole lesson, I think. Again, I don't completely remember what was on the first page. So do your very best with those problems and we'll look at them together in class. Go ahead and get to work.